I think this might be a good time to tell me about, um, <clears throat> and that this has actually become somewhat of a well-known thing in history. The Third Army got stopped by lack of fuel. That was when they took the fuel from us and had us to set up a dump, and that's where those that rack came, those racks came in play. We ne hadn't used them all that time. And uh, fortunately for us, we had men that kept those, they didn't use them. So we, they, then uh, when we set that up, well, they'd send us from uh, 20th Corps headquarters, the G4 section, what we call G4 section, would send us orders to, uh, when they'd send a, another outfit out there to get gasoline, well, they'd send orders with it so we'd know that they wouldn't, you know, somebody wasn't cheating on the deal. But they, what they had to do is resupply all those, and we sent trucks back to the depot, back as far as we could, picked up gasoline, brought it up. But they would, they wouldn't completely out. But they knew that they couldn't, if they would have got surrounded there in Mets, when they went in there, if they'd have got surrounded, but they would have probably run out and couldn't have got out. But uh, that's when that surplus gasoline that we carried on our trucks, that's when they really came in handy. <coughs> Most of the gasoline was hauled from a port by truck companies that was operated with colored drivers. Yeah, let's talk about that. That would be the Red Ball Express. 